Osiris is just unique. Stay tuned till the very end of this video. Fuku Media, your channel. From the day I start crying, this little one always asks me, are you okay daddy? Minute, minute, are you okay daddy? Do you want water? Do you want this? And I was so thankful my in-law you gave me a wife. She's been there. She was to look after me. She's been always like, when I'm down, she'll always come in the room. Sometimes she'll even peek and see if I'm okay. So baby, I want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you, my mother. Thank you so much. And I love you guys, and I'll keep loving you guys so much. Thank you. I'm a brother who have lost a brother back home that is so important to him and to the whole family. We commit this wonderful moment in Trier as people have come from the east, west, south, and north to mourn with him and his family. We pray that you will take full control from the beginning to the end. We pray for order. We pray that you will lead this service in a wonderful way, in the mighty name of Jesus. We also pray that anything that will bring disorder in this place tonight, we silence it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Lord will give us the strength to go through. There is something that I just want to read here before we sing Him One. Those who have been lifted, let's take it up before we sing Him One. Uh, brave or remember that in order to successfully get there. You don't need a crowd. Surround yourself with a few who can add meaning, who can add meaning to life and not a bunch of haters. Not a bunch of people. Life is short and we have to ride on with caution. Not all those who celebrate or sympathize with you always remain steadfast to God always. At this junction, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have one of our sister here, uh, the wife of Chief Abu Fran. She has a very angelic voice.
When you don't forgive, all the prayers that you have been praying, God will take the answer to that prayer and go and put it on your offender. Because the devil always uses people to offend people. But how, what do we do? We need to open our heart to forgive. So I'm going to just pray with you in a very short, just one minute. Amen. And if you are here tonight, you have not surrendered your life to Christ. You are living in bitterness. You are living in all these things because Jesus is not in your heart. I would like you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Father, I commit myself into your hands. Into your hands. Whatever sins, whatever sins I have committed. I have committed. Show my words. Show my words. My thinking. My thinking. And my actions. And my actions. Father, forgive me. Father, forgive me. Please me. With your precious blood, in the name of Jesus, every form of bitterness, of hatred, of, hatred, of, envy, of envy in my life, in my life from, today, from today, I command it I command to leave me to live in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I invite the spirit of joy, the spirit of peace, the spirit of happiness in my life, in my family. And in this community, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit of God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for all the people that made this prayer with me tonight. I commit them into your hand, Holy Spirit of God, every spirit of bitterness, envy and jealousy, every yoke of sin upon their life, we command it to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. We set the people free. We set the community free in the name of Jesus. We speak love into this community. We speak peace into this community. We speak celebration and joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Can we clap our hands for Jesus? Good to all of us that stand here tonight. Good evening to fellow Lamborghinis. We welcome you all in our community. And we hope that by you coming here tonight, you all will get back to your various destination. We are getting tired of being divided in this our community. I think it's high time if a Francophone has a problem in this our community. Most people say, I'm not a talker in the group. I will make the point very clear on that day. We don't need any Francophone to go and condone with that Francophone. Except if you are very, very apt member in this our community, such as this person standing in front of me and very few of them. The last funeral we had, I congratulated our community members 
for coming out with their number. And what happened tonight? It is another disappointment. I don't know if there is a huge number outside, but then when we are looking at the population tonight in the hall, we are having less than one third of our community members sitting here tonight. Before I proceed to condole with Mr. Richard Cheko, I want us to all know I'm not saying this because he's my personal friend. I'm saying it because most of us we are getting tired. But then let's keep moving. I always say don't give someone support because he's not close to you. During funerals or time of mourning, let's keep friendship or closeness aside. Let's try everything possible to be there for one another. And we cannot stay behind for not being for one another. To Mr. Richard, who was his younger brother, who he always tell me about his brother. Today, we had the said the brother dies when the life begins at 40. He enjoys only five years of that 40 we all are aiming to get and to proceed even beyond the age of 90. Ladies, we are here today to join uh, the Chengos family to feel or to share the pain of the loss of Evans. As we all can see from the pamphlet and from all what the pastor has explained, Evans is um, a young, vibrant man who is just in his mid-40s. I believe uh, this is where he was supposed to start his life. Life begins at 40, so he's just 45. So he's in his big 40s. So losing such a, a, a young, vibrant man with a great future, promising future ahead is really a, a painful situation. We are not here to celebrate, we are here to mourn with the family. So um, we are happy to welcome everybody here today who has made up time to come and share the pain with the family. And I hope that we'll support the family morally, financially, and even physically in any way that we could. Us as Destiny Ladies, we are always here as our sisters keep us. Um, we are here to share the pain with our sister, Sister Ode, who is a wife to the family. Destiny Ladies are here. Thank you all for coming, and I hope you support the family in any way that you can. Mekuga, uh, um, we hear from uh, the one division, besides from me, besides the two division. Metam is made up of uh, 32 villages. So, the Metam community in Jarisway, all of us are from the 32 different villages of uh, Metam. So, one of our objectives in South Africa is to support one another in terms of sorrow and in terms of joy. So, this evening, we are gathered here, just like any other group. To sympathize with our brother who knows the younger brother who. It is, it is very easy to tell somebody, take heart, take heart. I was once in your shoes, four years back when my older brother died. It was easy for me to go around telling people, bro, take heart, take heart. When it happened to me, it was difficult to receive, take heart from other people. Live life as if today is your last day on earth because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. In those days, when some of us were still growing in our communities, people will live for 80, 90 years before they die. But this, our own era is different. We have somebody to pay the money because it's no more. So I think the only thing we can take home from this great keeping is that when we are living our lives, we should keep it as if today is our last day because we don't know what will happen tomorrow. So we want to encourage each and everyone here to support the dream family because. 
Like actually, I just said, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. So we are here to support our brother and the family that the metal community is behind you. It has happened. There's nothing we can do. We just like have to pray and ask God to receive him. And those of us who are still living, we should also go thinking that what if it was me who died? Where am I going to? So we should live our life as if today is our last day. Thank you so much. Great achievers is a union for great people. People that have achieved for life. So I would like to put great achievers ahead of people to make efforts they can join this union. It's a union of love, union of caring. If you have any problem, great achievers is make sure if everything comes to support you. Richard Chengu is one of our member of Great Achievers. Great Achievers, we have who know what we have Thank you. May you be the way. One of the very most welcome for this funeral. My name is Thierry Mayor. Chengu Richard, Nama Primary schoolmates. In those days, 1980 something, we would carry arms of the head. You know, we have now lost contact. We have been born away in that so we talk about our friend. Now, say life is short. We must live up to the fullest. As we did so, <laughs> if you want to have this, I will go back and talk to you. You want to have to go for now, so don't say that you need to have no time, no, don't do it. There's no more time for the life you don't give me. We time for the life you don't give me. And as far as I talk, me, make love to me. Only look at each, anybody in the back. Even when they say, hey, they are brother, help me, where are you? Make sure they say, how can they advance? Move to the lead, and then, the way you offer your life, the way you offer your life, the way you offer your life, the way you offer your life. This year, there is nothing for me to write about this year. But I still trust in the Lord that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I've seen it all this year. And I know for God to keep me alive, to still see my kids, He's got a better plan for me. So, I really want to take this opportunity to thank the destiny ladies to appreciate you more. I just bless the day my wife joined you guys. There is love where you are. So you know, if you look at the fans, you look at me. I was born twin, I came on this head twin. When my twin brother passed away, back home, they were referring to him as my twin brother. So this is the brain box of the family. Very limited. What is a um, ordinary level GBH has been with? Ten papers, advanced level, five papers, proceed to University of Boya, first degree, proceed to Masters. He wrote the advanced, advanced level while we lost Papa. So he wrote the first paper. Come home and cry Papa and go back and continue writing. And he came out with five papers. So, uh, this happened on the 22nd, last month, on a Tuesday, I remember that day perfectly. I, I spoke with the man in the morning, he said to me, brother, I'm taking my son back to school in Sase. So we are in the park going to Boya. So when I come back, we're going to talk because this is my machine back home. Evans was my machine. So he said, I know what you want to tell me. This is uh, the Coco season now. I know what you want to tell me. And I was expecting your call. But let me come back from where we're going to talk. I said, okay, bro, let me see your, your boy. There's something happening in their school in Sase. So the boy didn't want to go to school again. So I had to really advise that boy. While I was talking to Evans for a, for a long time, Evans happened to switch the phone on a video call and he showed me the boy, showed the wife, showed our younger brother, he said this we are here now we are going to Boya. He have heard all what you said and he have accepted to go back to school. 
and then Evans turned the camera to his face and was talking to me. When he turned the camera to his face, he never said anything for about 30 seconds. The camera, I just saw his face. And then we were supposed to talk when he came back from Boya. He, he came back, went to his uh, business place. He's a, he's, a very, he's a very successful boy, this one. And while in his business place, I was waiting for him to call me that I'm set to a talk now. Just for me to get a call that he collapsed. He collapsed and passed out in his shop. And before they rushed him to the hospital, he died. Jesus. So, um, it's like mystery to me because I now believe that Evans was just showing me his face for the last time. He wanted me to see his face for the last time. So, um, he's my direct follower. We're eight in the family and they've gone. So we left, we have five now, two boys and three girls left. Um, same this year, sometime I lost my stepbrother. Same father, different mother. Some two months ago, I had a very terrible story. So, what I will tell you guys, the pastor has said it all. I was once a Thomas, but I've come to realize that this life. Freshman said to everybody, please, I will beg you for what I've seen from my experience. Share love. Share love. Pure love. Transparent love. The pastor said, if you have hurt anyone, if you are in your house with your wife, you are quarreling, go back today and say, baby, I'm sorry. For you don't know if you sleep, you're going to wake up. It is tough out there. This is that one year that I have had a lot of death. In the realm of the spirit, there is something that there's a message that the Lord is sending to us. In the realm of the spirit, God is trying to drag us close to Him, but we can't see. So let me not take your time. I will just say thank you for coming and thank you to my in laws that are here from the Pinion clan. The Pinion prince is here. They said, is there with the princess and uh, my uh, aunt is there that uh, my mother is there my in-law is there so thank you guys for coming and very close family friend all the way from the united states sitting right here i didn't even know his back but i was surprised to see him with the wife here. so i thank you guys so much and the father of my wife also is there i can see so thank you guys so much i just want to appreciate the Mekuda, the destiny lady and tell you, you said it all. You know this one. I mean, we were classmates in our time. But when I left, you fall in love with him. Because the same love that you have for me, you transfer it to him. So thank you very much. I thank everyone that is on the table. And I just want to tell you guys, whatever you are doing on this earth, being bad or good, try to do something that one day you will cry that God remember me from this. There is someone in this world that is a typical example of that. You might call him every name. You might call him, he's a bad man, he's a wicked man, but when it comes to people, he's always there. That is Prince Aga, Donald Trump. Thank you, sir, for coming. And uh, to my, also my friend, Kumbi Eric, you also have a rough year, but God preserves your life for one thing. You did something good, that's why God keeps you alive. Thank you very much for that. So I love you all. Um, we don't have much, but whatever we present to you guys, manage with us. Thank you so much. And last but not the least, I can't stop without appreciating my family. My wife, my beautiful girls, from the day I start crying, this little one always asks me, are you okay daddy? Minute, minute, are you okay daddy? Do you want water? Do you want this? And I was so thankful my in-law, you gave me a wife. She's been there. She was look after me. She's been always like, when I'm down, she'll always come in the room. Sometimes she'll even peek and see if I'm okay. So baby, I want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you, my mother. Thank you so much. And I love you guys, and I'll be loving you guys so much. Thank you. On the way from Pretoria,